Hey, Justin Chamnus here, and welcome back to the course, Outsource Your Business. And we are about to jump right into module one and talk about what are the things in your business that you need to get done and to outsource. It's uh, not this thing, it's not that thing, it's not the other. There's a specific set of things that you need to begin considering outsourcing to virtual assistants and or an operations manager. Now in modules two and three, I'm going to get very specific with the operations manager and the virtual assistant, but I'm going to tell you in this module why you need these players in your business to move it forward and to get your freedom of time and energy and get your creativity and your thinking bigger back and uh, what they what these folks are going to be doing I think you're going to find this to be very insightful when we begin to break it down in this module what exactly do you need to get done and what will these virtual assistants need to be doing for you All right, we're back with what needs to get done. Now, if you are a real estate wholesaler, there's only a couple things that need to get done in order for you to make money. And basically, you already know what that is because you've been through the learning phase and the, the implementation phase and the understanding phase. And now we're into the automation and outsourcing phase. And so during the previous phases of your or stages of your business, you have learned and gotten some hands on wisdom about these things. And uh, really all you're doing in a really real estate wholesale deal, whether that's a, an ugly house wholesale or whether that's a, a pretty house wholesale or a lease option wholesale, any of the wholesaling options, all you're doing is buying a property uh, or putting it under contract and then selling a property or selling that contract. So pretty much you just have those two things to do in order to make money. It's not this thing and that thing and the other thing and every every other which thing. It's just those two things, getting great property deals under contract and then selling those contracts. That's it. So we're going to look at these two things that you need to get done in your business and how a virtual assistant and operations manager could totally help you accomplish these two tasks. Now first off, let's talk about number one, cranking up your buyer's machine, your buying machine. Now I'm talking about your buying machine, getting sellers into the pipeline and getting great property deals, cranking up your buying machine. We're going to talk about your buyers here in a minute, but we're talking about cranking up your buying machine right now. Now, there's only a few things involved in cranking up your buying machine and getting great contracts on great property deals, whether that's wholesaling lease options or ugly house wholesaler or pretty house wholesaling. It really doesn't make any difference at all. It's all the same. You're getting contracts and then you're selling those contracts. So when we're talking about cranking up your buying machine, we're talking about getting great contracts on property deals, regardless of how you're going about doing your real estate wholesaling. Now, the, the few things that are involved in cranking up your buyer's buying machine is just this. Um, there's calling FISBOs, right? <laughs> there's um, getting FISBOs to call you, right? And then there's making offers on bank-owned properties. Now, those three things alone will make your business as successful as you ever dreamed just outsourcing and implementing those three things but we're going to take it a lot further than that we're going to show you how to get complete freedom where you're spending maybe less than two hours a week involved in your business so now calling fizzbos a virtual assistant can do that a virtual assistant can can absolutely call and fill out the property information sheet and then hand the property information sheets that they have filled out to you or email them to you rather and then you can go ahead and uh, work those pre-screened leads 
and you can do all of that in a matter of less than two hours a week. Uh, that's calling FISBOs and you should have a virtual assistant calling sellers to, to find motivated sellers. You should also, number two here in cranking up your buying, uh, your buying machine is to have a virtual assistant to get FISBOs calling you. In other words, you have a virtual assistant that's in charge of marketing. And that is either, um, you know, putting out yellow letters, uh, you know, in the mail, or maybe that's uh, doing some Facebook advertising or Craigslist posts, or maybe it's all of the above. And maybe it's some additional things that work for you or things that you want your virtual assistant to be doing. Whatever successful marketing things that you're doing in your business right now, you should be turning those over to a virtual assistant so that they can be done by that professional on a regular and routine basis. And so all you'll have to do is check. Now, that will bring in calls from FISBO. So you have a, motiva you have a virtual assistant calling motivated sellers or looking for motivated sellers calling FISBOs and then you also have a virtual assistant that is uh, handling marketing and putting marketing together and keeping the marketing going uh, every single week it might even be the same virtual assistant but you should be outsourcing these things the the third thing in cranking up your buying machine is to have a virtual assistant making REO or bank owned property offers. Now this is real simple to do. What you can do is you can get signed up for a service like listingbook.com. Your realtor can get you hooked up with that and um, what that will do is that will get you property feeds right into your email every single day of bank owned properties and so you can have a virtual assistant looking through bank owned properties. Um, you, What I prefer and what I would recommend you do is that you take a few minutes every single day 10 or 15 minutes and go through those bank owned properties that you received in your email uh, from you know listingbook.com or, or or whatever service that you've got you know you can connect with and review those properties and the ones that you want to make offers on then you know you send those over to your virtual assistant and then they can work on making the offers through the realtors and so on and so forth and do all of the mundane and routine tasks that are involved in just making offers and believe me bank owned properties are just boom 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 it's the same formula the same process every single time so a virtual assistant can absolutely make offers on bank owned properties I have one that makes offers on bank owned properties and in fact he does not even live in this country <clears throat> so that is cranking up your buying machine and you're going to want a virtual assistant or an operations manager to take over those things calling FISBOs uh, getting FISBOs to call you and then making offers on bank owned properties now the second aspect of your business is to have uh, you know, have your your selling machine set up and running where you're selling these properties off, whether that's the cash buyers or tenant buyers or what have you. And your virtual assistant, one, can post ads for you on Facebook or, or uh, Craigslist or whatever other social media marketing that you have going out there on the internet. Your virtual assistant can definitely handle that, okay? So you'll wanna trust someone and start getting into letting them take care of these routine marketing tasks for you. So in setting up your selling system, you're going to wanna to have a virtual assistant post your ads and flyers, and you're also going to want to have your virtual assistant take calls from buyers and they can pre-screen these tenant buyers, they can pre-screen cash buyers, they can help cash buyers get correct addresses, get directions to properties, get pictures that may not have been included in the original flyer. Uh, they can also, you know, maybe even um, share with them how to get access to a property if there's a lockbox code or, or possibly even set up an appointment to have the the buyer go by and take a look at a specific time this is all these are all things that a virtual assistant can most certainly do for you and when it comes to setting up your selling system so you'll want a virtual assistant to do your marketing post your ads and your flyers and so on and so forth but also to take the calls from your buyers 
and then what they're going to do is they're going to record the conversations that they have in some kind of a written format of notes and the important buyers and the important conversations then you can jump in on it's not necessary that they be all alone in the world but that you know you can come in on important phone calls or things that are of a money nature okay um, let your virtual assistant also do all of the paperwork okay there's no reason why if a buyer makes an offer your virtual assistant cannot draw up a simple assignment agreement or even the lease options closing packet with the options and the disclosure and you know it's all there it's all standard and it's all the same every single deal so there's no reason why a virtual assistant cannot be doing that for you as well so that's it folks it's just two things that you need to begin to outsource one is your buying machine and two is your selling machine so uh, we've kind of broken down you know what's inside both of those uh, machines and how you can outsource uh, the, the largest portion of all of those things. You don't have to be involved personally at all in doing 90% of that and you can get your hours chunked down in this business to about two hours a week and um, and it's really just you know not pre-screening but you know looking at leads that are already pre-screened uh, looking at properties that come in you know bank owned properties off of your your program that you subscribe to maybe like listingbook.com and then you know from there sending them over to the virtual assistant letting them make offers and, and handle it from there and basically you know it, just the fun stuff you get to do the fun things and enjoy your business again and they get to do all the mundane and and boring tasks all right well in the next module we're going to jump right into the operations manager how to find one and I'm going to give you specific ad information like, you know, the wording for ads and how to find a, 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 vir a virtual assistant in the following module, but in the next module for the operations manager and what kind of tasks they should be doing on a regular basis if you choose to hire an operations manager to come in and work with you to help run your business for you while you're off uh, dreaming and thinking up new and wonderful ways to make money because your business is functioning now well without you. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.